Those extreme actions by some Republican supporters were harshly condemned by congressional Republicans, while others have remained silent. Yeah, and with a wave now of resignations coming from the president's own cabinet, many are left to wonder, what about the long-term political impacts here? To discuss that, we are talking with Suzanne Chad, a political science professor at North Central College. Uh, professor, thanks for being with us again. I, I want to start uh, here with this question. In your opinion, do you feel that, um, that the president legally has exposed himself to, to charges or being removed from office by inciting violence that, that led to what we saw yesterday? Yes, I absolutely do. The president's complicity in what happened yesterday, I, I hope, is clear to all of us. And if I might say that his complicity in is not just from the rally he held yesterday, not just in saying we're going to march to the Capitol, not just in um, in the, the video message right after that really it said go home but didn't really say go home, is that this has been four years of this president um, creating an environment where those who support him support him so blindly, so loyal that loyally that they will try to in some ways overthrow the government to make sure he is still their president because he is the only legitimate president. I think that that falls squarely on his shoulders and if I might add those his allies in the government at the highest levels who have enabled him to do so. Suzanne I have two questions it's twofold my question. Um, number one can he legally pardon himself because there are reports that he wants to do that and secondly there are reports from at least one Republican uh, Congressman Adam Kinzinger for him to uh, either be impeached or to invoke the 25th Amendment and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. Mm -hmm. it, what's the likelihood of any of that happening or can it happen? There are what, 13, 14 days left mm -hmm. in his presidency. Yes, it's a very short amount of time. And while typically we see the government move very slow, we also know that there are ways they can move very quickly. Um, I'll start with your first question about the, whether the president can pardon himself. Constitutional scholars, there's been a little bit of back and forth. It looks, because it's a bit of a gray area since we've never seen it happen, that there is some room for him to do it. So legally speaking, that looks like he may have that as an option. When thinking about Congress's options and the cabinet and Vice President Pence's options, there is the invocation of the 25th Amendment, as you mentioned. Um, uh, uh, Chairman Nadler of the Judiciary Committee has said that has already released a statement about uh, articles of impeachment for the president. Nancy Pelosi has said she would back that if Vice President Pence does not go along with or try to invoke the 25th Amendment. There are many avenues um, at the disposal of members of government. But the question is, in the amount of time left and with the split we see between the parties and the loyalty of members of the Republican Party in government to the president, whether any of these would bear out any results. Uh, Suzanne, I, I know you heard the president's uh, newly released video. You heard his comments in full. What did you think of his tone? And what do you see the future of the Republican Party uh, in this country looking like in the, in the weeks and months ahead? Uh, yeah, so I, I, as you said, I was able to see the video. And so a couple of things that were good. One is he said he will leave office. Um, the other is a bit of this revisionist history that we're seeing other members of the Republican Party um, espousing, which is they just wanted to make sure that there's transparency. They just wanted to make sure there was election integrity. It wasn't about overturning an election. We know that that was not what this last two months were about. Um, and at the end, the president said our journey is just beginning to his loyal followers. That that gives me pause about um, what he wants to do when he is out of office and should give the Republican Party pause about how they move on from this president and this tainted presidency. All right, Suzanne Chad, thank you, Professor. Always enjoy hearing your thoughts and we'll, we'll see you again down the road. Thank you both right. very much. Take good care. You too. Well,